Yep. Good day, guys. This is my beautiful mum, Nancy. She's at Waratah Lodge in Wajan, so I'm just coming to visit mum. She's having some nice, juicy grapes I just brought her. And a few goodies here, guys. I've got mum for mum for nice lollies. What she likes. My mum's had a massive stroke, guys. She had a stroke. Mum's 78 now. She had a stroke when she was about 66. And this is my beautiful mum and dad here, back in the was younger that, days. I was going to ask for a blanket to put on Bill's and, uh, for me. Yeah, okay. so yeah. this is mum and dad. When was this photo taken, mum? Oh, that was ages ago. Uh, <coughs> whereabouts at Karakata? Yeah. So this was taken at, I think, Karakata Army Barracks, guys. Probably in around 1968, I reckon. That's where mum met dad. At the Karakata Sergeant's Mess. My dad was a Vietnam veteran. Dad was a Royal Australian engineer. Dad's passed away. Dad was a beautiful bloke. So I don't know guys who I look like. Probably look like mum. I think I look like mum the most. Um, but yeah, I sound like dad when I speak. But look like mum. So, beautiful photo of mum and dad there. Dad was about 13 years older than mum. Dad was born in 1926, Mum was born in 1939. There's another nice photo of my dad, I think possibly at a wedding or something. It's my beautiful niece, Chelsea, right there on the left. Chelsea's just graduated from university, guys, as a vet, so she's a doctor. Uh, don't know where she gets her brains from, guys. I think she might get them from her, uh, my brother-in-law, possibly my dad. Dad was pretty smart. And there's mum, my beautiful sister Emma. There's my beautiful mum, Nancy, and also my beautiful auntie, Auntie Beryl. Auntie Beryl passed away about a year ago. And yeah, there's a photo of me at Shanghai in China. I was part of the ceremonial guard on HMO's camera, guys. So just this is mum's room. It's a nice room, guys, but mum's gone downhill in the last year or so. She can't walk anymore, guys. Really, really sad. This is me when I was 17 at Kapuka Recruit Training School in New South Wales. So a picture of my uh, uh, nephew, Ryan. He's a champion football player, guys. Fairest and best of the Wickham Football Club two years in a row. Uh, he takes after his dad, my brother-in-law, Kim. Kim's a beautiful bloke. He's like, I call him like my brother. He's such a beautiful bloke, guys. I, my sister couldn't have married a better bloke than Kim, guys. Really love him, what he does for our family. So there's my Auntie Beryl there. My Uncle Percy passed away. Auntie Beryl's passed away. Uncle Percy, uh, Uncle Jim, Auntie Margaret. Auntie Margaret's still alive. She's about 88. Can't believe she's still alive, guys. She smoked like a chimney ever since she was about 13. She's in aged care now, but she doesn't smoke anymore. My beautiful Uncle Ray, he passed away of mesothelioma, guys. He uh, worked up in Whitnoom on the mines. I really miss Uncle Ray, but he passed away a fair while ago, about 20 years ago. There's my mum, Nancy, and my beautiful grandpa, Alf, Alfred, Alfred Auger, A-U-G-E-R. So my mum's family is Augers. So this is my mum's sisters, Auntie Beryl, Auntie uh, Margaret, her brother, Ray, my mum, Nancy, Grandpa. <coughs> There's me again, guys. I've changed a fair bit. That's me actually smiling. <laughs> you don't see me smile too often, guys. Uh, so HMAS Canberra, the best ship I ever served on, Royal Australian Navy, for about seven years. I'm also ex-Army, seven years, guys. There's me and mum um, on the decommissioning of HMAS Canberra. It's a nice photo of me here, taken in Holland. I lived in Holland for a couple of years. Look, Sophie's here, guys. Get quite emotional looking at these photos. Just really, really close family, guys. Uncle Ray, he's the one who passed away mesothelioma, so he would have had mesothelioma at that stage there. So be very, very careful of working with asbestos, guys. That's why I always make videos and always talk about asbestos. You know, I've got a high chance of getting it, so I've been to Whitnoom. Arnie Beryl, my beautiful um, nephew, Royce, beautiful uh, Chelsea, my niece, and my beautiful other nephew, Ryan. So they're all brothers and sisters there. And this is my other beautiful auntie, 
Mum's other sister, Shirley. Shirley and her husband, Percy. So yeah, I'm just paying a visit to Mum, guys, so she's happy. Aren't you happy, Mum? She's a bit shy, guys. She's not used to me doing videos. But anyway, here's my, uh, my auntie Margaret, who's currently still alive. Absolutely beautiful photo of her on her wedding day. So she was beautiful when she was younger, Auntie Margaret. I love her. She's like my second mum, guys. I have to go up and visit her very shortly. But anyway, guys, I'm spoiling mum with a few goodies here. And I'll probably visit mum for about an hour or so. I try and visit mum about um, a couple of times a week, guys. So mum's the most important thing to me right now, guys. It's one of the reasons I can't really get away because I just want to be with my mum. My mum's such a beautiful lady, guys. She's struggled all her life, haven't you, mum? Cancer, she suffered from cancer and she survived cancer and so much more. But yeah, so mum's had a massive stroke, guys. So basically she can't move her, um, her left arm's paralysed and uh, her foot's really really bad guys she can't walk now because of mum's foot and absolutely agony so i'll quickly show you guys so it's this foot here see how it's all curved over she can't put any pressure on it guys so mum's basically you know in bed all the time she can she still gets up and goes to have a shower and goes to down to dinner and all that but her foot's kind of clubbed over but anyway, so that's my beautiful mum. I love your mum. And she knows that. I always tell my mum I love her. So please, guys, make sure you never, ever be afraid to say that you love your family. Really, really important, guys. If you don't, I tell you what, when those parents pass away, guys, you regret it. Don't forget, you know, in the Bible, guys, it, it says that we must honour our parents. Don't ever forget that, guys. Same with your sisters and brothers. All right, see you, fellas.